The Graf Spee has been cruising the South Atlantic Ocean for two months, raiding British merchant shipping. Hans Langsdorf has led his pocket battleship as far as the Indian Ocean, capturing or sinking 11 British ships. The Royal Navy has been scouring the seas, specifically for the Graf Spee, so Henry Harwood can hardly turn down a chance to neutralize her with his cruisers. A German victory would allow the Graf Spee to continue raiding British shipping and draw more warships to destroy her. A British victory would end the Graf Spee's threat to its shipping, and free up warships to hunt other German surface raiders. Langsdorf and his pocket battleship are hunting merchant shipping when he spots his own hunters, Harwood's cruisers, steaming towards him. Langsdorf's Graf Spee boasts thicker armor and heavier guns, with more range, but is significantly slower. Harwood, on the other hand, questions whether any of his cruiser's guns can sink Graf Spee and therefore must rely on their maneuverability. Exeter heads straight for Graf Spee, while Ajax and Achilles steam ahead to cross her bow. This maneuver proves nearly fatal for Exeter, as Graf Spee fires salvos before Exeter can even fire her own, and even when she does, the exchange is still lopsided. Exeter is pummeled by the Graf Spee, landing few hits of her own. Meanwhile, Ajax and Achilles have yet to engage in combat. Graf Spee continues to smash Exeter until Ajax and Achilles charge Graf Spee to divide her guns. Exeter lands a glancing but direct hit on Graf Spee's bridge before listing away at low speed with few functional weapons. Graf Spee begins to focus her guns toward Ajax and Achilles, which are already firing intently with all guns. Harwood and Langsdorf exchange vicious salvos, each landing respectable hits. Harwood realizes his position cannot last. Ajax has lost a turret. His ships seem to be firing marshmallows at the heavily armored pocket battleship and ammunition is running low. Before his ships can make smoke and escape, Graf Spee also turns to retreat. Langsdorf is apparently disoriented after being knocked unconscious momentarily from a blast. Harwood orders his cruisers to cautiously shadow Graf Spee outside her mighty gun's range. The pursuit ends at the port of Montevideo. Under international law, the Graf Spee is only permitted to stay in a neutral port for three days, which the Uruguayan authorities resolve to enforce. Harwood prefers Graf Spee stay in a port until reinforcements can arrive to handle the powerful ship, and so British diplomats protest. This way it appears they are anxious for Graf Spee to set sail, as if there is an armada waiting for her. British diplomats reinforce this myth by spreading rumors that this armada is already stationed outside the harbor. In reality, only the cruiser Cumberland arrives within three days. Langsdorff radios Berlin but only receives the typical order that he not allow his ship to be captured. Langsdorff decides to scuttle Graf Spee which he orders to take place after burying the dead and releasing the prisoners. In a hotel, Langsdorff writes a letter to his family, lays upon the battle ensign of Graf Spee, and shoots himself. The loss of Graf Spee left only two other pocket battleships for surface raiding, the Lutzau and Scher. The South Atlantic became safer for British merchant shipping, although a number of German U-boats still operated in the waters. This animation was created by Jonathan Webb and narrated by Tom Fitzmorris. For more great battles, visit www.theartofbattle.com. It's like a museum, except not boring.